Hello and welcome. If you are a Revit beginner and you don't know how to create something like this in Revit, I have to say, no worries. It's actually quite simple. And I'm going to show you that process in the next couple of minutes. The first thing you have to do is to download the pictures from the website. You can find the link in the video description. And then I'm going to show you the way how you can load those pictures into the Revit, how you can scale them and fit them to work well for you and how you can then make a facade. So let's just move to Revit. Okay, so I'm in the Revit right now and the first thing I'm going to do is to decide where I'm going to load these pictures. I'm going to use South View and the East View and then I'm going to open South Elevation. I will just extend this a bit. We'll go to insert and then we'll go to link image. Okay, and I'm going to use this bottom facade. So I will select the picture, I will go to move and we'll take this level and we'll attach it here and go to scale and from here to here to be let's say 4 meters. I cannot see the numbers correctly so I'm just taking this approximately. I will move this a bit to the left, something like this. We'll go to our plan view and we'll just create the wall. Okay, and from this south view I'm just going to move that wall to the ends of our picture. And we'll create one more level, somewhere here let's make it 22 meters for example. And that's level 2, I will select the wall and will attach the top constraint to level 2. Now let's go to the east facade, extend this a bit, again go to insert, link image and take this one. So here I'm going to use this bottom one and then I'm going to move from this one, this one will go to scale, from here to here for me, let's say. And I'm going to move this to fit something like this, somewhere here. Let's go to plan view, select this wall, go to CS, create similar, and make the wall like this. Let's go again to east view. And why we don't see our wall in east view, it's quite simple actually, so don't be afraid if something like that happened to you. What we have to do is to select here and then we have to move this and we can decrease uh, our view clipping. You can, we can also move the sign so it's easier for you to understand there it is. And now if we go to East view I can see our wall and this fits ok. Then I will just move it say, here and this seems fine. To make a 3D in Revit you just need to go to this small house over here. Just click that view and it's going to create a 3D view. If you take a look at the picture, we see that we have a double wall, so what I'm going to create right now, I'm just going to create this, let's say, white wall. So right now I'm just using generic wall because I'm just going to show you the method, how you're going to make it. So let's just take this wall, create similar CS, go to edit type, duplicate and make one of 50 millimeters. And then for the offset, Let's make 600 because we have some kind of offset between those two walls. Go to 3D and this seems fine. Now we are going to edit our walls and the first thing you have to do is just go down there to the visual style and pick wireframe. And then select the wall of 50 millimeters. You can see that in the bottom left corner of the Revit and then go to edit profile. And now we are going to edit our wall profile, but just please be aware that we are going to work with the spline. If you use the spline and make it like this, and if you would like to trim spline with the ordinary line, you will see that it's not possible. If I take any other line, like if I take this one, and if I go to trim, you will see that this is possible to do. So, what you have to be aware is when you take a spline tool, you start from the intersection or you have to see any sign in this case is going to be the nearest snap point so whenever you start just have some kind of the snap point from the vertical lines in this case 
and the same is going to be when you are finishing them. So you cannot finish just like that. You would like to finish it at the vertical line and the vertical line became blue as you could see here and then just click and that's it. Then because we cannot trim them you have to go split element and then select this line and drag it to the end here. And again let's take this one over there, you start from the nearest. and then do the same thing for the whole facade. And I'm done with the south facade. What I have to do right now is just to click this yes button okay we have a problem so some lines intersect each other let me just see here okay aha it's over here all the lines must be closed loops I'm just going to move this to the hidden line so I see better okay so now seems fine let's go to 3d and see what we got okay just in order to make this better visible I am going to assign some material to this 50 millimeter stick wall okay so this seems fine let's just move to the east facade and again let's go here and take a wireframe there is one thing which is quite important when you are working this other facade and when you select this wall of 50 millimeters here and when you go to the edit profile now we have spline you are not starting from the nearest in this case on this is facade you would like to start on the intersection here and then you create your shape and the same thing is when you're ending you would like to end at the intersection here let me see just to know that you can in 3d as well do the slice thing and then you can move this if you would like to be sure that it goes directly vertically you can hold shift all the way you can just click the top and it will select this one and then hold the shift drag to here and just click ok and this is going to be the process for the other part of the facade so again i will click this one we'll go to edit profile and when i start just be sure that you pick the intersection and then you start creating your profile by the way if you created a spline and you don't like how it look like you can select the spline and you have those control points there you can adjust it now i'm just going to speed up this process and please enjoy the music I'm almost done with this so here it comes okay it's a little bit of a mistake here I made it so if you if something like this happened to you just go to edit profile and from 3d you can drag this point here then you can adjust your curve also from 3d and you, you can make it as you would like to I can again select this line the whole chip and drag it here you just click OK and basically that was it thank you very much for watching this video if you have any questions feel free to write in the comments and yeah don't forget to like the video and subscribe to our channel